Today is uh, Sunday and today I go back to the US. Tonight I fly back. As you guys can see I'm in uh, the university, Flavius University. I was with her. She came to work on a Sunday. I know, it's kind of weird. Well, it's not weird because she does research. But uh, now today is Father's Day here in Brazil. So we're, I'm gonna go with uh, Rafael's family for Father's Day. So guys, we're here at the Father's Day party. It's all family, family members of Rafael and his dad. I know some of them, but check it out. They gave me a beer and they put salt crystals, sea salt, and then you put the lime here. And then you make a hole in the, on the can. You just drink it. Dude, so this fish that we're having, where did we get this fish from? We brought that in the farm, you saw that in the other video. A lot of fishes and now we eat. Yeah. Is that all the fish that we we got? Yeah. All of them? That's a lot. Yeah, but we got like 15 fishes. No, more than 15. So now we're ripping, ripping the catch. And we're listening to Santanejo here, which is the country of Brazil. And look who's here, Andrea. You guys saw her on the videos from two nights ago. <laughs> Guys, so I am heading down to the airport now. Today I go back to the US like I was telling you before. I'm going from here to Miami, then Miami to Denver. So it's two flights. Uh, right now it's like seven, eight o'clock. I leave here at 9 p.m. and then I get there at tomorrow at seven, eight o'clock p.m. So it's like 24 hour uh, trip. Anyways, Flavia is driving me to the airport right now because she's very nice like that, like always. Flavia let me stay at her place for one month. A little more than a month, maybe like a month and a week. Just a month? Just a month? Oh, okay. Straight month. I was in Brazil for a total of three months and probably a week, something like that. And I overextended my visa, so right now I'm here illegally, so I have to pay a fine for that. But that's okay, it was only two days that I was over, I overstayed the visa. Brazil, I liked it a lot. I was here for a long time. I haven't been in a country for that long, except Mexico. And I was here for a long time, so I got to know very, very, very much the people, the customs, and I liked it. I liked it. Uh, probably one of my favorite countries so far. I can say that. And it's gonna be hard to live because I usually don't stay that long in places. So I did get attached a little bit. And also because I was with Flavia, and I am gonna miss her. That's for sure. I'll show you guys the airport and then the whole process. So here we go guys, this is the airport for Brasilia. And you know, for being the capital city, it is a pretty small airport. All customers please proceed to gate 32. It's time to prepare for landing. Please stow any... As you guys can see, we made it to the Miami airport. So back in the US. Nothing special about the flight. Pretty nice and quick and on time. Oh, well, time to go to immigration. I've never seen this before. So apparently now you can you can go through immigration like automatically. That's pretty cool. I never knew you could automatically do it now. I'm about to board the <clears throat> train. They have a train. This airport's so big that they have a train that takes you around the airport. Because it's a long walk. A lot of the airports here have that. This one they call the Sky Train because it goes, it's like elevated. Alright you guys, so I'm finally out of the airport. 
It's a big airport, so it took a while. Now from here it's gonna be weird. Uh, I don't have any money right now because I don't have any cash <laughs> at all. No coins, no nothing, so I can't take the buses. I have a credit card, but that's about it. So what I have to do right now is walk all the way to downtown, which is not that far, but it's really, really hot. I didn't realize that it's freaking hot and humid here. So I have pants on. Here's the thing, uh, we'll go, once you get downtown, the transit system is, is uh, it's free, so that'll be better. We'll be there for like two, three hours, and I have to come back to catch my flight at four. This is gonna be really, really hot to walk. <laughs> it's morning right now, it's like nine in the morning and I'm already hot. Like, this is very pedestrian friendly. From where I've been, I mean, there's sidewalks everywhere and crosswalks everywhere, so it's it's pretty good. So guys, I am my way back to the airport. There's a golf course right here. But I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm in the total wrong place of this street. <laughs> it's like a highway. I just took the wrong turn, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I think this takes me to the rental car center and then from there I can go to the airport. I'm not really sure but you're not supposed to walk through here. It's not dangerous because they don't go that fast because it's an off ramp but still you shouldn't walk through here. Just in case you guys can tell it's freaking hot. It's 11 30 or 12 p.m. right now but it is so hot. I'm sweating like really bad. So we have arrived to DIA Denver. <clears throat> we are in Denver now. Um, I just gotta go pick up my luggage and meet my parents and that is it, this is where we started.